Today I'm going to talk about safety concerns while camping and traveling in general. So, um, as I mentioned in passing, I have an inversion to hotels. That doesn't mean I haven't stayed in a lot of them. I've also stayed in a lot of motels and lodges and man camps and you know, on boats tied up in harbors of one sort or another. I've slept in trucks and parking lots at job sites and parking lots of box stores. I prefer tent camping to any of, of those options. Um, also slept in my car on on-street parking and on the side of the highway, and on the side of the freeway. Safety from, from people that, you know, can do me harm. Well, that's, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of 12-year-old boys that are stronger than I am. I mean, it, I'm, I'm not very big. It's not been much of a concern. It's, you know, there's been a few times when it's like, huh, it would be nice to have, you know, four walls around me. But it's very rare. And I have to say, I've had that, that experience more in while sleeping in my truck um, than I've ever had in, in a tent. Choosing a place to park um, is, is the first step in, in staying safe. So, you know, I've talked about with the, the college kid that's, you know, running away from home. Um, you know, find the parking lot, find the on-street parking, the backyard that matches your vehicle. So most of the time I drive a truck, you know, sometimes it's a six-pack or a king cab, sometimes it's a one-ton, sometimes it's a little pickup. I drove a Ford Courier for a while. Um, I really like my, my uh, Ford Ranger. And they blend in real well in the industrial areas and the next step is to make it so nobody knows you're sleeping in there just you know it's it's not obvious and you know it can be your color choices on in your blanket that can be you know all kinds of things that way but don't leave your dome light on don't have your engine running don't be making noise and you know just you know a car parked on on street parking is just not interesting. A truck parked outside of a warehouse in a row of trucks is not interesting. Um, kind of the, the boldest thing I've done in looking for a place to park, and I had a uh, Chevy at that point. My, my shop truck was a Chevy, and the bench seat was not quite long enough for me to comfortable, comfortably sleep on, but, you know, it was, it was all right, and, you know, so I got my my shop truck and, and I'm going past a Chevy dealer and I went, oh, I can just, and it was about one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I can just get a couple hours right here. I was just swinging behind here and just look like I'm a Chevy coming in to get serviced and it's gonna be fine. And I just went and parked next to all the vehicles that were sitting there ready to get serviced the next day. And I slept there until about six and then went back on the road. You know, just, you know, look at where where your vehicle will will make sense. 